Welcome to the Heavy Spoilers Show, I'm your host Paul, aka your friendly neighbourhood spoiler man, and what does Peter Parker study in school? Web development, hey you having that? Now Tom Holland has just dropped a big interview with Variety that discusses a lot of his upcoming projects including Cherry. However, the real cherry on top of Cherry, what, was the info that he dropped on the upcoming Spider-Man movie. The film is set to spin the webhead into a whole new multiverse of madness and throughout this video we're going to be breaking down all the ins and outs of the update as well as some of the new details we know since we last spoke. If you love this video 3000 we'd massively appreciate the thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel for the biggest breakdowns on the web. We're giving away 3 free copies of the Marvel Phase 3 4K box set to our subscribers but I'll talk about how you can potentially win one at the end of the video. Okay, so as mentioned earlier, Tom Holland dropped into Variety to shed some light on the upcoming Spider-Man movie. The film is one of the most anticipated projects of the entire year, and according to Daniel RPK, it's the most expensive film that Sony has ever made. This makes a lot of sense as Far From Home was the first movie that the studio ever made to pass the billion mark, and due to its expansive cast, major multiverse moments and more, we know that it's going to be something special. As for what we've now learned about the project, Tom Holland didn't really go massively in depth on the ins and outs of the story, but from what he said, it's going to be a massive movie. The interviewer said, Can you tell us something about the upcoming Spider-Man movie that you're filming, Tom? Holland said, Obviously, I can't really say anything. You can tell us what happens at the end, right? What's funny is like, I nearly told you then, you are so close to getting what you want. See, and, and I knew there was a little bit of a spoiler man in Tom Holland there, I knew it. However, he did go on to say, and I, I will stop the voice, I promise. I can say that it's the most ambitious standalone superhero movie ever made. You sit down, read the script, and see what they're trying to do, and they're succeeding. It's really impressive. I've never seen a standalone superhero movie quite like it. And I'm just, you know, again, that lucky little she who happens to be Spider-Man in it. We got a lot more shooting to do, we started before Christmas and shot for like 7 weeks. We stopped for the Christmas break and then we're starting again. I'm just as excited as everyone else to see it, let alone be part of it. Oh no, I shouldn't have so, But anyway, it sounds like it's going to be something special because as we know, he has worked on some massive movies that are part of the MCU like Civil War, Infinity War and of course Endgame. We know that Kevin Feige did say back when the project was first announced that this would be Peter Parker's Endgame and thus it's fair to think that the studio will be going all out with it. Now when asked about Andrew Garfield, Tobey Maguire and Kirsten Dunst, he kind of avoided questions about them appearing and said, It beats me, I don't know. If they are, they haven't told me yet. That would be something Marvel would do. Yeah, because they can't trust you, obviously. You, you ruin things. Uh, but personally, I do think that he knows, obviously, as he's read the script, he's just been told to keep shtum if he wants to keep his job, and he better bloody keep shtum. Now, for the rest of the video, we will be dropping some spoiler stuff, so I recommend that you check out now if you don't want anything ruined. Okay, so when asked about the cliffhanger of Far From Home, Holland said that when we see how the next one starts, we'll be really chuffed. In case you don't know, we did report a while back that the movie will be playing upon the One More Day storyline in which Doctor Strange erases from everyone's memory that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. According to what I've heard, this then backfires massively and actually causes a big fracture in the multiverse which is how the other actors all come across. I don't know exactly when this happens, but the movie could start off with him on the run, a la John Wick style, before he heads to Strange who then resets everyone's memories and the consequences of that are the rest of the movie. That did sort of happen in Endgame 2 as the Avengers tried to be smart and do a time heist, but it brought forward a Thanos that wanted to wipe out all life in the universe. Anyway, the podcast was a fun listen, especially if you're interested in Cherry, so I've linked it below, or I think I have, yeah, if I've, if I've forgotten, just google it, please. Okay, so as for external stuff on the project, it's long been rumoured that Miles Morales will be appearing in the movie at some point, potentially setting up his own spin-off saga after the success of Into the Spider-Verse. I'm a bit unsure on this personally, but we'll go over the evidence towards it, and then what I think in general. Now the character was of course teased in Spider-Man Homecoming when his uncle Aaron name dropped his nephew during an interrogation. Because of the snap we know that it's possible that he survived and has grown 5 years from being a little kid. 
This could indeed put him in a good position to become another Spider-Man and step under Peter Parker's wing, or rather web. Uh, not a good joke. Now the first tease towards this comes with the Feast logo, which appeared on the side of a truck on set. If you played the recent PS4 and PS5 Spider-Man games, then you'll know that this is a big location that's central to the story. Miles often helps there too, so he could definitely be popping in. In addition to this is the image on screen now, in which we can see someone who looks like they could fit the role of Miles pretty well, and they're wearing a mocap suit too, which means that should the VFX artist need to add anything over the top of it, they can do what they want. However, it does look a bit swanky that, doesn't it? Now this means that the character could indeed be Miles, or it could simply be a stuntman that's having to play a CGI character. Zendaya did recently state in an interview that she spent a lot of time running from aliens, and therefore it could just be a stuntman who's playing one of them. Personally, that's what I tend to lean towards, and I think that the Feast connection may actually have more to do with Aunt May, who as we know was starting up some charitable organisations in Far From Home. She kinda needs something to do in these movies, and Feast is the perfect place to have her oversee. However, it could definitely leave room for Miles to enter, and as this person is just by themselves rather than in a group, we can assume that he's playing a singular character rather than, you know, being part of an alien invasion. Oh crap. Now, earlier in the week, Tom Holland also posted an image with his younger brother on his shoulders with a bit of a cryptic caption. If you checked out our last video on the film, then we did go over the theories that this could be Harry Osborn or an alternate version of Peter Parker, but personally, I, I think that he's just going to be an extra. You'll know that reconnecting with his brother is big for Tom, as he's been away from his family for a long time due to COVID and filming this and Uncharted back to back. So for the moment, I don't think that it's going to lead into anything massive down the line, but of course, let me know if you disagree in the comments below. Now alongside this photo, he posted the caption saying, Today was easily one of the highlights of my career. For those of you that were there, you know what I'm talking about, and for those that weren't, you better buckle up. Now this could be alluding to the fact that he got to get paid millions of dollars to hang out with his little brother on what will probably be one of the biggest movies of the 20s. However, it could also allude to what he said on the podcast, but for the meantime, we're not 100% sure. Personally, I think that it might even be that he was dancing along the street with Tobey Maguire, as let's be honest, that's what everyone wants to see, and it would really be the pizza time of his life, and something that I think he'll never be able to top in his career ever again, you scumbag. Anyway, that's everything you know since we last spoke, and hopefully that's now you fully up to date on the film. Don't forget that on the 28th of February, we're giving away three copies of the Phase 3 MCU 4K box set to our subscribers, and all you have to do to be on the chance of winning is like the video, make sure you subscribe with notifications on, and drop a comment below with your thoughts on the updates. The winners of last month's competition are on screen right now, so if that's you, then message me on Twitter at Heavy Spoilers. If you want something else to watch, then make sure you check out our breakdown of our One Division theories, which will be linked on screen right now. We go over who we think the big bad is, the person that's in witness protection, Maria Rambo returning, and a lot more. Well, out of the way, thanks for sitting through the video. I've been Paul, and I'll see you next time. Yeah, you take care of yourself. Peace.